So if you're still not convinced that agriculture is a good vehicle to use in this new STEM initiative that you all have for Duplin County, hopefully some of these statistics will help prove that to you. The first one, the world population in 2013 was at 7.2 billion. It's projected now 9.6 billion for 2050. And that's a slower growth rate because of certain factors. But the challenge becomes with that growth, even though it's a little bit slower than it has been in the past, how are we going to produce more food and fiber with a smaller rural labor force and diminishing farmland? Okay, that's a huge question, and a question that scientists and researchers around the world are looking at and trying to determine. My opinion, I think we're going to go to the water. I think we're going to start doing more farming in water. We did a workshop this summer in New Hanover and went to the UNC Wilmington um, Research Center. And we saw oyster farming and how that can be done in a smaller scale. Um, so I think water is going to be used more in the years to come. But I could be completely wrong. Number two, talking about our nation. 22 million American workers produce, process, sell, trade, in some way, the nation's food and fiber industry. 22 million people are involved in that. But, but, this is the but. Only 4.6 million people live on the farm. That's less than 2% of the United States population. And if you don't live it, you don't work in it, you don't understand it. And we've got so many kids now that are in your classroom that don't get it. And they live, believe it or not, Duplin County is one of the top producing ag product counties in the state of North Carolina. So they should know it. They should know something about it. They should have at least, at a minimum, in K-5, an appreciation from where their food comes from and the realization of what that means to them when they become older and as a possible industry that they can work in. Number three, another um, nation statistic, and this one kind of blows my mind. This is talking about the economy. Every hour, every hour in a day that's 24 hours long, in a year of 365 days, Every day, there's about $6 million in U.S. ag products that are consigned for shipment to be exported from our country. This equates to more jobs and higher wages because it generates about $100 billion annually in business activity throughout the United States economy. And more, and this provides jobs for a million people in our country, which is 15% of the U.S. population. Next week, what's today and today? <coughs> the 23rd. Is it today? It's either this Wednesday or next Wednesday. There are 30 people from around the state. The majority of them are from North Carolina. Our president of North Carolina Farm Bureau are traveling to Cuba for the first time since the American Embassy has now opened in Cuba to start conversations about the United States exporting our agriculture products to Cuba. I mean, that's huge. That's just, I mean, unbelievable. We have um, the dean of NC State is going, Dean Linton of um, NC State, the College of Ag and Life Sciences is going. Mr. Wooten's going. Two of our people in our policy department are going. And I'm a little nervous about all that. And I hope their travels are safe, but they're going to go and stay from Wednesday to Sunday and start to have those conversations with Cuba. Because Cuba wants our food. They, they know we grow great food, but they're exporting things from Australia. That's where they're having to export foods from. And because the relationships between the United States and Cuba have not always been good, hopefully they're now becoming better. So we can finally, for the first time, have those conversations. So what does that mean? What kind of conversations fourth and fifth grade teachers can you have with your students about that? <laughs> Historically, what does that mean? That means that now we have another country that we can export food to, and that does what to our, our economy? It increases it. All right, now, statewide, and these are just two simple, very simple facts. <clears throat> Hopefully some of you know. Oh. So 
Anybody know what the number one industry is in North Carolina? Uh, agriculture is the number one industry. Hogs would be a commodity within that industry. So statewide, agriculture in North Carolina is the number one industry. Military is number two, which I didn't know that until about a year ago. So that's another reason why that you should use this. And then the last one, statewide, these are your four counties listed in order. Duplin's what? You're the number one county. <laughs> so this should definitely be in conversations or used in your classroom with your students. Duplin, Samson, which is right next door, is close by. Union and Wade are the top counties in the state and contribute the most as far as the total cash receipts, the most income back into the state from the products that are grown here. So those are some reasons why you should, hopefully that is convincing enough.